Hey guys, welcome. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, Ableton has just announced they brought out some new Max for Live plugins. Um, these are exclusively for Ableton 11, but they're available for free download. So I thought I'd give them a look today and just let you guys know what I thought about them. So they've brought out what looks to be like six new Max for Live plugins. So for those of you that don't know, Max for Live is like a community-based plugin system where people can make plugins and you can directly import them into Max for Live uh, into Ableton. It's kind of like modding, you know, like a game or a car or, or whatever, or, or an 808. You know, you get like uh, something that someone else has made, put it into Ableton, and sometimes Ableton nice us and bring out a few free ones that we can try out and we'll hopefully expand our music production so let's hope these are good um i haven't looked at them yet too much but i thought we'd get a first look today together and uh see try and figure out what they do and uh what, what they're about so yeah cool so we're going to start with a clip remixer and it looks like it's got a project so that means that there's some sort of project so I've got it loaded up here, this is what loaded up, looks like some sort of drum and bass break project, so let's try and figure out what the clip remixer does. Interesting. So how do we change this up then? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, dope. Wow, look at that. So it's like chopping up the clip. Uh, and it's like remixing the order that it gets played in. So that's very interesting. Wow, so it's like chopping up the break by itself. So instead of going in and chopping up an audio clip, this looks like it's going to do it for you. So yeah, let's see. It looks like there's some sort of MIDI um, break clip thing. Interesting. So it looks like you can kind of like play around, it's kind of like slicing to uh, slicing MIDI to a break. So if we had like a break sample, I'll just show you quickly. Break. Like if we had this break, and if we right clicked, and then uh, slice to new MIDI track, if we click OK, we get the break beat as a MIDI clip, which looks like this. And you got it all in little slices. You can swap it around basically. Interesting. Good for good for chopping up breaks. But yeah, let's see what else is going on here. <laughs> this is weird. Cool, I like it. I mean, you can't say it's not fun. I personally like chopping up my beats, so this is cool if, if you want a quick way to do it, so it kind of makes sense. But let's move on, let's check out the next. Max for Live plugin they've added. So you basically get the remix project, which is this thing, and you get the clip remixer, Max for Live, which looks like this. It looks like it just kind of chops stuff up depending on what you select here. So let's check out Envelope to MPE. So again, comes with a project file and samples. Let's see. So if you double click on the project, ALS, the ALS file, which you guys should know is like a project file. We're just going to 
Don't save and it should open up a new project file. Okay, so envelope to MPE. What's this going to do? Whoa, what is going on? Not too sure what this is doing. <laughs> Whoa. Some nice samples. I'm not too sure what it's actually doing. That's a source wavetable. So it's doing something, I think it's modulating either the amplitude or the pitch, which is fine. Output wavetable. Yeah, it's definitely doing something here, guys. Looks like you can hook it up to a wavetable and it'll follow the, the notes of the sound that's being played. Very interesting, very interesting. Let's go to the mutator. This one looked cool. I saw a little a little uh, clip of this. But yeah, that one's interesting. I think this mutator one's going to be a good a good one. Something about well, you'll see if it loads. Something about chopping up. Right. Cool. 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 Well, let's see what this is. What this one is then, because it's going to be a good one. So we've got our MIDI. We've got our instrument. Looks like a muted bass or saw wave. There's an LFO running through it on the filter one frequency, which I can't find. Filter one frequency. Yeah. I'm just going to solo this so you can see what this does. So if you click mutate, you can change the amount of notes. So yeah, it actually moves the notes around. So you can see how it moves notes by itself. It's like a Mario game. Whoa, the blocks are moving. Yeah. So yeah. I can't show you both at the same time, I don't think. But if I mutate again or change it to this one. I think that's how many bars it takes for it to change. So. so let's set that. So your loop selection, let's say it's two every two bars, it's going to change something. So let's see, eight notes, six. Anyway, mad. Let's listen to this one. Some sort of corpus. Resonation thing going on here. So let's see. The notes change. The mutator. So yeah, you can like randomize notes, so it's pretty effective. This is one I'll probably be using on like my arpeggiated loops and stuff just to make it a bit more random and crazy. So I like that one, I'll give that use. It's useful. So premonition, I haven't I don't know what this one is, but let's look into it. Yes. So, premonition. Okay. Trick mirror. Whoa, that is a really nice, that is a good one. So it looks like it previews a sound and then it kind of like builds up into it. Trick mirror. Ooh. Let's listen without it. Trick mirror. I never know when I'm looking at To be honest, that's a sick a cappella. Refracting with the brightness by for use that and then we turn it on she's a trick mirror 
It's like a reverb, a pre delay reverb. This is so sick. So it's like if you reverse the audio and put it in front of it, kind of thing, and then like reverb build into it. Yeah, pretty interesting. I like it. Trick, mirror. I'll definitely be using that on vocals. That sounds sick. Okay, so this is on a sort of loop. Oh, that's, kind of, that's cool. Adds a lot of texture to it. it. Looks like you can change the ramp, the amount of build up to the next note. Very interesting. Wow, and it, you know, if you've got an 8 bar loop, it just does it right at the end. That sounds cool. Sounds cool. A little scared on here then. Jeez. Quite trippy. Um, yeah, so that's that one premonition. That's probably the best one so far. Mutator are like second best. That spots this randomness tweak, I might steal the show. Let's see, what does it do? Randomness tweak. So, yeah, just looking through some Max for Life plugins. Ooh, what does this do? Cool. Let's see. Ooh, it's like a filter. Very dead mouse here. Wow. Get some cool shapes out of this one, I'll tell you. So it looks like we've got like some sort of velocity. <laughs> okay then. Now what about this monophonic layer? It's like some sort of sort of. And I guess you can click and add. No oh, I see. You can click and add more dots. Oh, this is sick. You know? Interesting, add some interesting movement. I like it. Damn, I'm gonna have to show some people this. This is cool. Very interesting. Very cool. Add some movement. I can imagine some delay. There's some delay on that would sound really nice. Let's get a delay and just do that quickly. A little quick ping pong delay maybe. That sounds sick. Oh wow. Yeah, these are pretty good. Pretty good. Nice for adding some quick movement and uh, randomness, which is great. So let's look at the last one, Velocity Designer. 
What are we getting? Prada? Gucci? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Whoa. Did not expect that. So we've got Acid Meltdown Bass. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's see. So it looks like we're there's like these lines and it kind of like... Whoa. Let's have a look at this. Uh, okay, so it's a little sample. That's cool. Interesting. There's a chance of notes being played. A little filter. I like it. Again, some delay room, that would be nice. Let's find some delay. Okay, so let's try and figure out what this does. So you can kind of like change the shape. I like it, I like it as it as the notes go past. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I guess you can change okay. Oh very nice, yeah, no, I like it, I like it. That's a cool one. Man. Velocity pitch. Interesting. Interesting. Looks like you can switch between them here, the notes. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, that is a quick look at the new Max for Live plugins. I'll put a link down below where you can download them. Um, I've uploaded them to my website just in case they get deleted or fable to or whatever and people want to use them or download them. But yeah, they're there for you guys to use. They're free. I think these are compatible with Ableton 11. But yeah, thank you guys for listening. I'll speak to you next one. Go have a nice day. Stay out in the sun and peace.